Okay, dear students, welcome to my class again. Today I'm going to talk about transformation of sentence and issue online class 3. We have done two classes over transformations. Previous classes, we discuss about number one, affirmative to negative over basic sentences like affirmatives, he likes his mother. Negative, he does not dislike her mother. This kind of sentence. And number two, affirmative to negative over special sentences using only must every two dot dot two as soon as all is like affirmative only I can help you. The negative none but I can help you like that. But today is your English class 3 and today we are going to talk about affirmative to interrogative objectives here and this is by the end of this lesson the students will be able to transform affirmative to interrogative something special here look what's this plus and plus equal plus Minus and minus equals plus. Minus and plus equals plus. It's your math rules. But are you thinking what's the relation between this topic with the math? Okay, let's see. Look, he is a good boy. It has a positive meaning. That means the boy is really actually a good boy. But look this sentence. Is he a good boy? It has a negative meaning. That means the boy actually not a good boy. So someone confused and asking the question, is he a good boy? So we can say that it has a negative meaning. Look this sentence. Isn't he a good boy? But it has a positive meaning because because minus and minus equals plus so i think you are understand what's the relation between the math and the this topic look is means asking questions negative and not means also negative so is and not mixed together make it positive that means isn't he a good boy it has a positive meaning okay dear students now let's go to the wonderful animation over this topic okay let's go this is tulip she is talking to herself and with her classmate about wearing school uniform. Just watch. Look, I have worn my school uniform today, he says himself. Now, have I not worn my school uniform today? Again he have said and again said, have I worn my school uniform today? Look, there are three sentences. One is, I have worn my school uniform today. Another one, have I worn my school uniform today? And another one, have I not worn my school uniform today? So, in this case, I have a question to you. And that is, the meaning of which question matches with what you will be saying silently. That means, there are two sentences. One is, have I worn my school uniform today? And another one, have I owned my school's uniform today? The both of the meaning are available, but he's asking, which meaning is similar with, I have worn my school uniform today? You have to find out it. Which one? Of course, have I not worn my school uniform today? Why, dear? Because 
I have told you in previous slide that negative and negative make positive. I have worn my school uniform today is a positive sense. Have I not worn my school uniform today is also a positive sense, positive meanings. Because have asking questions, so negative meanings, not also a negative meanings and mixed together make turn into a positive meaning. So it is the answer. Have I not worn my school uniform today? It is the answer of I have worn my school uniform today. So I hope all of you understand uh, why the this sentence is similar with these sentences. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Look, the two sentences having the same meanings are I have worn my school uniform today and have I not worn my school uniform today? Now asking you another question, this one, what are the difference between those two sentences? Write in your notebooks. Now you have to pause video here and try to find out the difference between two sentences and after a few minutes or seconds I will show you the real answer okay just pause and try to find out look the differences are first one is assertive and the second one is interrogative instead of subject the second sentence begins with auxiliary verb first one is affirmative but the second one is negative i would like to assess something here what is auxiliary verb that is auxiliary verb which is help which is help to the principal verb the real verb that means auxiliary verb is a helping verb and what are they they are am is are was were have has had shall should will would may might going to ought to etc okay dear now i would like to go to the next slide be attentive and enjoy the class look choose the following three sentences into interrogative okay and you have also post video here and try to find out the answer and later on i will show you the answer okay look this is sabina's family so the answer is isn't the sabina's family they live in village answer don't they live in village look there is no auxiliary verb so they bring a auxiliary verb do and and fixed with him not so it turned into don't okay the next one rena has gone shopping and they have auxiliary verb and that is has so hasn't rena gone shopping i hope all of you understand this slide okay i would like to go to the next slide look match the statement of column b with column a in groups and write in your notebooks there are more sentences than necessary okay you have to pause again and try to find out which one is the real answer of column a just pause and try to do it later on i will show you the answer okay dears i like to show the answer here this is the answer and this is the answer here and here he was not famous before so it is the auxiliary verb and not so the negative would be a positive sentence that means this one he was he famous before look it is the answer because when we you, you watch the negative sense in affirmative sentence and we have to turn it in the positive sense that means was and we should not 
put not for after the was or auxiliary verb. Everybody knows him now. There is no auxiliary verb. So we should bring an auxiliary verb and which one? Doesn't because it is the positive. So the, that would be the answer. Who doesn't know him now? Look, who and doesn't mix together, positive. He is not a, a citizen of Nepal. Uh, it is negative sentence. So we know we should not use not when we transform it into uh, interrogative. So which one would be the answer? Is he a citizen of Nepal? Yes, this is the answer. Is he a citizen of Nepal? Okay, next one. We cannot forget Musa Ibrahim. So we cannot. There is a negative symbol. Cannot. So answer would be a positive symbol. That means, can we forget Musa Ibrahim? Maybe it is the answer. Let's check. Yes, this is the answer. Can we forget Musa Ibrahim? It's the answer. Okay, dear. I think you are enjoying the class and you hope you are, are understand the class. Okay, I would like to go to the next slide. Um, before then, I would like to show you what is negative interrogative and what is interrogative. Let's see. Okay, dear students, look, the first one is negative interrogative. We know Interrogative sentence start with auxiliary verb and this sentence also started an auxiliary verb and that is was and after pronoun we put a not that means the negative sign so we can say that interrogative and negative sign mixed together negative interrogative but its meaning is positive that means affirmative meanings though it start with interrogatives and negatives okay number two interrogative sentence i have already told you that interrogative sentence is start with auxiliary verb or wh word and look number two is start with an auxiliary verb and that is was so we call it interrogative sentence that means the meaning of the sentence is negative not affirmative it's the negative meanings okay thank you all i hope you are understand what is negative interrogative and what is interrogative sentence look it's the analyzing of the previous slide look everest is the highest peak isn't everest the highest peak Musa Ibrahim climbed it off. Didn't Musa Ibrahim climb it off? He was not famous before. Was he famous before? Everybody knows him now. Who doesn't know him now? He is not a citizen of Nepal. Is he a citizen of Nepal? We cannot forget Musa Ibrahim. Can we forget Musa Ibrahim? Okay, can you find out the similarity and dissimilarity between those sentence or those column? Okay, just pause the video and try to find out the answer of these questions. Later on, again, I will show you the answer. Okay, dear, look, the, the, that is the similarity and dissimilarity. Similarity, same meaning, but dissimilarity different in form and type that means in different in structure now took at your answer again and click on the right form of transformation below okay affirmative sentence is transformed into negative interrogative not uh, interrogative we have to transform it negative interrogative that means affirmative sentence is transformed into negative interrogative. Negative sentence is transformed into interrogative or negative interrogative. Of course not negative interrogative. It should be a interrogative. That means negative sentence is transformed into 
interrogative and affirmative sentence transform into negative interrogative hope you are enjoying this class okay students let's go to the next slide before that i would like to say something about wh words there are following wh word available look when is asking for time for example when did he leaves then which is also a wh word and it asking about choice for example which tv do you want and it's where it indicates place for example where do you live okay then next one is who asking what or which person but remember it's all the time indicate the subject for example who are you you is a subject here the word asking for information about something suppose television table chair etc asking for something home is asking what or which person but remember it's the opposite of who that means it's all the time indicate the object who is asking for subject the person and home is asking for the object also a person for example home did you see then whose is asking for ownership whose is this train is the example why asking for reason for example why do you love me how is also a important wh word and is asking about manner or quality for example how does this work but i am focusing on who and what because the next slide i will discuss the transformation is about who and what okay dear let's go to the next slide it is with a uh, interesting animation okay let's go using who everybody loves flowers make the statement interrogative dear students look everybody is a person and it is a subject so everybody refers word who everybody refers who that means we will use who instead of everybody like that who doesn't love flowers you know previous slide i have told you affirmative sentence turn into negative interrogative so i put here negative symbol doesn't okay here are some wonderful example for you look the girl is saying to the boy i haven't eaten anything but look he is eating a banana he is telling lies so the boy replied everybody hates a liar dear students you have to transform this sentence everybody hates the liar just pause the video and think what would be the answer there is another example all should respect the freedom fighters look all should all means a person and a subject so what would be the answer are you guess okay just try number 3 is another example nobody can live without oxygen look nobody is also a person and a subject so so you think then last example is none can avoid getting old look none can none means uh, is indicate the person and none is a subject here so none can avoid getting old so just think okay students now let's see the answer look who does not hate a liar because 
number one is a affirmative sentence so i have to transform it negative interrogative so everybody replaced by the ho and and i have bought here doesn't to make it negative interrogative the next one is same all is replaced by ho and should and i have bought here not again to make it negative interrogative and next one is same ho can live without oxygen and the next one who can avoid getting old i hope you are understood about it clearly okay students let's go to the next slide and it is very wonderful animation look using word the postman is going through a storm look nothing can stop a postman from doing his duty make the statement interrogative look nothing nothing indicate a things like table chair etc so make the statement interrogative how just think it's very interesting that means nothing can nothing can so nothing is replaced by word what can stop a postman from doing his duties look nothing is a negative symbol so i have to transform this sentence as a interrogative not negative interrogative just interrogative which one we learned the previous slide okay negative affirmative sentence transform into a interrogative but affirmative sentence transform into a negative interrogative okay there are more example for you just pause your videos and try to do the solution number 1 nothing can stop bahadur telling the truth number 2 nothing can stop that number 3 nothing can charm people like flower and number 4 nothing can fade the glory of the freedom fighter okay dear students just try and later on i will show you the answer okay let's see the answer what can stop bahadur telling the truth what nothing replaced by the word i have already told you that nothing is a negative sense or negative meaning so uh we should transform it into a affirmative form but interrogative okay the next one is the same what can stop that the next one is same what can charm people like flower and the next one what can fade the glory of the freedom fighter hope all of you enjoying and understood it so let us check what we have done today we have learned how to transform assertive sentences into interrogative okay students bye bye tata see you later with a wonderful videos